Why do some animals look similar? Have you ever seen two animals that look like they could be twins, even though they're not the same species? Why does a jaguar in the Americas look so much like an African leopard with those rosette spots? How come a crow and a raven are both big black birds that almost fool us into thinking they're the same? These questions have puzzled many nature lovers. The answer lies in the wild world of evolution and survival. Some animals look alike because they're family. Others evolve similar looks by facing the same challenges. And some are just master copycats, imitating others for a clever advantage. Get ready for a journey through jungles, oceans, and backyards to uncover why some animals look so similar. Relatives in Disguise One big reason animals look alike is that they're actually related, like distant cousins sharing a family look. Think about leopards and jaguars. At first, you see a large spotted cat stalking through the leaves. Is it a leopard or a jaguar? They live on opposite sides of the world, leopards in Africa and Asia, jaguars in the Americas, yet they look strikingly similar. That's not just a coincidence. These two cats shared an ancestor long ago and both belong to the big cat family Panthera, which is why they have a similar build and those gorgeous rosette spots. Over millions of years, jaguars and leopards ended up in different places, but they kept a family resemblance. Their spots are an especially handy family trait. In fact, having spots helps both cats camouflage in dappled forest light, hiding them from prey. So, even though jaguars and leopards aren't each other's closest relatives today, they still wear the uniform of their lineage and environment, making people do a double take when trying to tell them apart. Another example of family lookalikes is the case of crows and ravens. These birds are so similar that even bird watchers have to look for tiny clues to tell who's who. Why do they look almost the same? Because they're basically feathered cousins. In fact, there are more than 30 species of crows and ravens worldwide, and all of them are part of the same bird genus, Corvus. That means they share a lot of the same DNA blueprint, giving them that all-black coat, strong beaks, and clever minds. So when you see a big black bird cawing or croaking, it's no wonder you might mix them up. They're family. Of course, if you look closely, you'll spot differences. Ravens are usually larger with fluffier throat feathers and a deeper croak, whereas crows are smaller and say a higher-pitched caw. But overall, their family heritage shines through in their looks. Family resemblances happen all over the animal kingdom. Alligators and crocodiles? Yes, they look alike because they come from the same ancient reptile order, crocodilia, and haven't changed that basic snappy design much in a long time. Horses and zebras? They're both in the horse family, genus Equus, which is why a zebra basically looks like a funky horse in striped pajamas. When animals share a recent common ancestor, nature's recipe for their bodies is similar, so they often come out looking alike. Just like you and your cousins might have the same nose or eye color, animal cousins often share a family look. Different families, same solutions. Nature is like a brilliant inventor, and sometimes different inventors come up with the same solution to a problem. Convergent evolution is the scientific term for when animals that aren't closely related evolve to look or behave similarly because they live in similar environments or have similar lifestyles. It's almost as if Mother Nature copied a good design. For example, take a look at the ocean's sleek hunters the shark and the dolphin. One is a fish, and one is a mammal. Biologically, they're as different as fish and, well, mammals. Their last common ancestor swam the seas about 290 million years ago, long before the age of dinosaurs. Both have a streamlined torpedo-shaped body, a triangular fin on their back, and flippers on the sides. They both slice through the water with ease, chasing prey. Why? Because to be a fast predator in the ocean, that torpedo shape is just the best design. Even though sharks and dolphins took completely separate evolutionary paths, one evolving from ancient fish, the other from land mammals that returned to the sea, 
they converged on the same solution – a smooth, speedy body to catch dinner. The ocean isn't the only place where this happens. Look up in the sky. Bats and birds both have wings and fly, yet bats are mammals, with tiny fur coats and even tiny fingers in their wings, while birds are, of course, birds with feathers. Flight is such a useful trick that these two very different groups of animals independently evolved wings to master the air. Each Earth habitat presents its own challenges, and often creatures that are totally unrelated still develop the same tools to survive there. Let's circle back to our spotted big cats. Remember how jaguars and leopards both have spots and similar builds? Part of that is family, but part is also convergent evolution through camouflage. Both cats sneak through forests and jump on prey by surprise, so having a spotted coat – spots or rosettes – is really useful. Those spots break up their outline in the patchy light of the forest acting like natural camouflage. In fact, spots and stripes are a popular solution in nature for hiding or hunting. Mimics and Imposters We've talked about relatives and about separate species stumbling on the same design by accident, but sometimes similarity is no accident at all. It's on purpose. Welcome to the sneaky world of mimicry where one species imitates another to gain some advantage. One of the most famous examples is the monarch butterfly and the viceroy butterfly. Monarch butterflies are those bright orange and black winged beauties that are toxic to most predators. Why toxic? Monarch caterpillars munch on milkweed plants that contain nasty-tasting chemicals, so when they become butterflies, they carry those toxins. The bird that tries to eat a monarch gets a very upset stomach. Predators learn orange and black winged butterfly equal yucky, avoid. Now, enter the viceroy butterfly, which is another species that isn't a monarch at all, but at a quick glance, it looks almost exactly like a monarch. This kind of mimicry is called Batesian mimicry. In our case, it's as if the viceroy is wearing the same warning colors as the monarch. Essentially, yelling, don't eat me either, I'm a monarch, totally. And guess what? It works. Viceroys mimic monarchs in appearance to avoid being eaten. Predators see that familiar orange and black pattern and think, nope, not eating that. And the viceroy gets a free pass. Butterflies aren't the only copycats out there. Snakes do it too. In fact, there's a folk rhyme in the US Southeast, red touch yellow, kill a fellow, red touch black, friend of Jack. This refers to the color bands on snakes. The eastern coral snake is venomous and has red and yellow bands touching each other on its body, a warning pattern meaning, I am dangerous. Meanwhile, the scarlet king snake, sometimes called milk snake, is non-venomous and has a very similar pattern of red, yellow, and black bands. But on the king snake, the red bands only touch black, not yellow. To an untrained eye, a king snake looks just like a coral snake. And that's the point. The harmless king snake is an expert mimic of the coral snake. So predators that fear the coral's deadly bite will also avoid the look-alike king snake. This is another great example of Batesian mimicry. One snake basically cheats by copying the warning colors of another. The result? Fewer predators bother the king snake thinking it might be the lethal coral snake. Sneaky, right? So why do some animals look similar? As we've seen, there isn't just one answer. There are several, all amazing. Some are look-alikes because they share family roots. Like true relatives, they inherited the same basic features from a common ancestor, and it shows. Other animals look alike thanks to convergent evolution, where Mother Nature solves a problem in the same way with creatures that never met on the family tree. When environments are similar, they often demand similar tricks, and voila, you get unrelated animals that could be body doubles. And finally, some animals look alike by design, as cunning mimics. They evolved to impersonate other species for an edge in survival, a brilliant bit of evolution's theater where looking like someone else can save your life.